want you guys to look at this crack right here. And I, I want you to take note, the machine cannot lift it up on its butt at one break. But watch what happens when you cycle it, same thing over and over and over again. How the cycling causes the separation. So cycling just a little bit each time, gets you a millimeter a little bit further down the road each time. And eventually it's able to separate. Think of the cycling that's going on in the, in the bridge deck when uh, with that little bit of reinforcement over 40 years and then these uh, cars uh, creating all that cycling. And all of them cycle, working together. Here we go. You saw what happened. You saw what happened there with all the cycling, and just cycling over and over again, and it broke free. Now that has no reinforcement in it. That only has what about <laughs> two and a half inches thereabouts in the middle, the concrete, and then a little bit thicker on the edges. This is a driveway, incidentally. I think that crack is already mostly there. This has no crack in it. This pad. So it's going to be interesting to see what's underneath of it, what's underneath this pad. These are already, we'll do this, they'll come apart, turn the machine around, just grab them. These, these sections will be easy. That was a great opportunity to show you cycling. And on this side, as it cycles up and down, you see the compressive forces where, where it blasts out the, uh, the concrete there? Let's see if I can get you down a little lower. I think I lost the uh, image for you. Well, there's a separation. All right, I don't know what you can do with that but in your mind, but hopefully it'll help you understand the cycling, how it couldn't do it on its own, but then it's cycling it, eventually breaks it free. Cycling, cycling, cycling. Concrete and the reinforcement that's in there takes a cycle. Every time the deck goes doo -doo 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 a little bit, it's cycling in that load inside all that rebar and specifically cycling against uh, the, um, the uh, punch shear. Okay, let me show you flexural shear and look at the base here, how it's already tight at the bottom, the very bottom, so there's no separation there. So now I'm gonna smash this with a hammer and I'm gonna show you how just a little bit of touch love tap brings it. And 
there's your and there's your fracture that you see. Everybody's worried. Sorry, Mark, I'm doing a quick video. And that's that fracture you see where everything just shatters. It just shatters. The tension, it can't hold together. And everywhere it shatters was where it was in tension and just released. All right, end of video. Okay, guys, there's this big slab of concrete there, right? When I drop it back, it's not on anything. It's not on anything, and yet it's going to fracture. Oh, well, there's a piece right here. So we already showed that one. But this is going to, it's just going to fracture. This is another instance where you, you see how fragile concrete is. Very fragile. It's not as tough as you would think. It's just it doesn't have flex ability. Yeah, yes, once you add the materials to it, the steels and the uh, post tensioning, if you do that, then you can have a, a concrete that will act like it's uh, act like it's flexing, you know, like on bridges, etc. But it's uh it's the it's the rebar that's keeping it together and controlling the cracks. So here I'm showing this uh, young guy, young young guy, how to an overhang cantilever, how you can break fracture concrete using the advantage of its overhang. Do not pound it while it's it has full contact surface on the uh, ground below. That for example, to tell where to hit it right there, okay? So you see him hit it and it just shatters away. And he's, he's choking up on the hammer pretty tight, but I'm teaching him. All right, now hit here. Oh, wait a minute, there's a crack I speak of. And yep, he just grabs it right. So it fractured. So we find another, another cantilever, if you will, so I can explain to him how to fracture it. So move that out of the way a little bit. I'm with, on a camera. That's you see camera lens. So I create another overhang for him. And I'm going to tell them where to hit it at this point again to show them that how to fracture this concrete so easily. So there's another overhang right there from there, the surface, and it's a triangle. So the point's right there between the two of them. And I tell them where to impact it. Now he chokes up one and hard, you know, close, but I try to teach him. And that baby hit. I don't know what that was. Yeah, see, I'm trying to teach him how to swing it. Okay, there we go. And so... You can see what happened. There you go. And you see it just fracture. It's so brittle. It really is brittle once you, it doesn't have its full surface. You need the rebar to make this hey, thing Bruce, a tough Bruce. deal. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 I think you like the dog. You want a dog, don't you, Bruce? I think so. I think, he wants, a, I think he wants a dog. Oh, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> George is nothing. George, don't you want to see the dog? Nope, he won't move. Bruce, Bruce is amazing. He, I want, he stands his ground. Look, no, not feared. Yeah. I saw um, when this other cat attacked, was coming after uh, George here, Bruce went re running after him and ran him off. That's Bruce. Look at him holding his, this is his property, he says. He's amazing. He thinks he's a dog. Or a predator. He thinks he's like a giant lion, I guess. Brucey, you're the giant lion, aren't you? Look at him. Not even, not even flinching. <laughs> Bruce, you're amazing. I've never seen a cat like that before.
Bruce, you're amazing.